<laughs> How are we doing, Charlotte? I'm so well. How are you? Man, oh man. Thank you so much. Uh, first and foremost for my shenanigans. Some thing came up a little bit earlier. We were supposed to do this and but here we are. Yeah. Yet again. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> How have you been? I've been so good. Yeah, I'm just I'm so hyped about this movie. I'm so so excited. So excited. It's it's um it's the first one this kind of genre and style I'm doing. So very, very different. I, very, very different to what I've done previously. I can I mean I, I can only imagine. And it's it's kind of fun because I think watching, you know, this uh this timeline of things, the last time that we had spoke you know, this is kind of still the earlier, you know, like uh, mentions of talking about uh, Dutch's, you know, kind of coming into development and you and Neil kind of talking the story. So, you know, from from that point, was there a lot that changed? Did you guys go back and forth on where you wanted certain points? How did that go? Well, you know, this was the first script that we wrote uh, together. Mm -hmm. And then obviously we've done two films after that. Um, that so we, we wrote Duchess in 2018 and we shot it in 2022. Um, so it was it was quite a, quite a minute in the making. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of it changed. I think it always does when you're writing. You have something in mind as, as, as the writer and then you start casting and then things change and then you go, get to location and you're like, well, this is different. I wasn't expecting this. And it's always adapting. <laughs> but you always make it work, always make it work. But I think as a writer, you always have you're very, very specific and you see something that this is what you want it to be and then it turns out to be completely different and usually better. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Which, uh, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited the way, the, way it's, the way it's turned out, to be honest. Now, and, and I mean, I guess bring us back to that first day of, you know, you guys and the excitement of writing this and, you know, you actually being on set. You know, what, what, what did that look like as far as you guys in shooting and uh, – some of the prep even that that went into a, a movie like this oh the prep the prep was the prep was tough i mean i'd never boxed before so when we were writing i was like sure. this is great <laughs> for pre-production i'm like oh i need to learn how to box now okay and, and it was very important for my character i think you know she's not a superhero or she's not a you know a spy like she's not professional but she's still got a know what she's doing she's still got to look like she's a boxer and she can hold her own mm -hmm. that that helps a lot in the that comes into play later on very very important um so i had to learn to box so i had a good two weeks of prep on in 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 uh, for that uh, i mean one of the toughest days on set was me in the boxing ring having all this dialogue with um Philip Winchester, who's like standing there asking my character loads of questions, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I've got to remember right hook, left hook, and then say dialogue. It's like it was like trying to pat my head, <laughs> pat my head, and grab my bed at the same time. It was so tough, um, but yeah, that was. I feel like every film that I do, I have to learn something completely different and something completely physical. Like for the yeah. the wrecking, wrecking, I had to learn to horse ride and sword fight. The lair, I had to learn to fire guns, and I'd never done that before. And <laughs> <laughs> that's no, fun yeah i was gonna say it seems like because uh, that was i think uh, you know kind of our last conversation was talking about you know within the layer and you're talking about you know uh, the range and and you know figuring out as far as firing guns and you know proper positioning and different things and i can only imagine even with something like this the choreography now you know what what was okay what went into some of the blocking and you guys had released a shorter clip here yeah. um that was like a garage ambush and just tons of all sorts of fire and, you know, and, and or I should say gunfire. And, but, but tell us about, you know, uh, blocking out something like that. I mean, we had an incredible stunt team. Um, and, you know, like, I feel like with all this stunt stuff, it's, all, it's almost like learning a dance. It's all very choreographed. It's like to be sad as well. It's like, okay, we can do this. And we shot a lot of it in blocks, which helped a lot. So for the boxing stuff, I'm, it's just, there's like a 10 minute boxing scene. There was no way I was going to do that all in, in a one-off. So we, you know, one block, cut, did that, and then we did the next block. So that helped a lot. Um, and then, you know, there's, there's quite, there's some big explosions and gun firing. And um, it, overall, just make it to shoot it in blocks, to choreograph it well, um, and make sure you've got time, that time in the day to set aside. Because I think in any film, the thing that takes the longest is action. Action is mm. all time consuming, consuming, which it should be because it's dangerous stuff and you want to make sure that it's all done correctly and it looks good. And that's right. like the funnest stuff. It's, 
you're shooting it and you think, oh, did that even work? So I look at <laughs> and then you look on the screen, like smoke and mirrors, movie magic. You're like, oh yeah, that, that looks pretty good. <laughs> I finally well, knocked that guy out. <laughs> I was, I was going to ask, I mean, especially with something like this and being a little bit different than, you know, the layer of the reckoning or some of your earlier projects, like were there moments that you were a little surprised by the simplicity into the idea of an execution and then you, you know, go to watch back and you're like, oh shit, you're like, that, that looked great. Yeah, like for this one in particular, I mean, as you said, like the previous films, the layer, I was, I was you know, a, a professional fighter pilot, so I had to be very trained and look like I knew what I was doing. But in this one, still had to look real and natural. You know, again, for the boxing, it still had to look good and grounded and know what she's doing. And then for the stuff later on, right? Um, mm. And as a woman, you know, up against all these men, you, she's, you're not... We wanted to make it as realistic as possible. Realistically, she's not going to be able to outfight these guys. So that's why we have to be a little bit more different. Like, okay, she's going to outsmart them. She's going to plan ahead. She's going to have an awesome crew. And, she, and again, like, we've got a great cast. We've got Sean Pertwee and Cole Meany, um, Stephanie Beecham, Philip Winchester. Just an incredible, incredible cast who had done action a million times and knew what they were. Yeah, it was just, it was so important to have good solid team good solid cast around you so important i i, I was gonna say too i mean like absolutely stacked up you know and, and mentioning you know some of the names there too and like watching the trailer you know it's like okay i mean you guys are absolutely going all the way for it <laughs> well, this, you, i feel like with this kind of genre you have to that this it, it's not your run-of-the-mill action film you know a lot a lot of these films are very vanilla now right they're mm -hmm. very square box we're not going to do this we're not going to do that we can't do that and i felt like with this one one of the things was let's go as big and as outrageous as possible because this is the kind of genre if anything horror gangster I'm yeah, just the best. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like today you need to you need to go that extra bit further and push see how far you can push the needle you have to you push that envelope as far as you can go and i think that did with Duchess one of the things was don't hold back let's just be as you know half the stuff in the trailer that's out there at the moment there's a lot more crazy outrageous things in the movie <laughs> I've got the Colombian neckties and all sorts it's there's a lot oh, of man. things in the movie yeah you know it's full on <laughs> now I mean are there certain things you know uh when you guys are sitting down and you're writing something like this and maybe a moment that, you know, you're like, ah, we might have to tone that down a little bit, but bringing that energy and bringing, you know, that full on, did, were there some, some moments that really surprised you as far as pulling off with some of the action in this? Or, or explosions or anything that you're just like, oh shit. Yeah, like, I think I was a little bit maybe concerned about how, how believable is this gonna be, right? This woman sure. physically, up against all these, all the, all these, all these men. But I think the way we addressed it was having her having a very strong physical crew, um, planning it, making sure she was smart. You know, one of the lines is, "What is it? You can't um, outfight them, outsmart them." Like, sure. you know, just figure. And, and I guess when, in any gangster film, any action film, like there's always planning and preparation. So the main thing really was making it believable, mm -hmm. even though. It, it's very high concept and very it's, it's got that that kind of tarantino s um guy Ritchie vibe to it we still wanted to make it as believable you know sure so okay. with that that fine line of making sure things were you know and you you followed her because if if it, if it if it came across a little bit too far-fetched i think that's when you get you kind of the audience sometimes comes out of it and questions it sure that's very important for us with with this character, I mean, with somebody like Scarlett, you know, and like you mentioned, as far as not wanting to seem like she's a, you know, a professional, you know, in, in shooting or any of this aspect and just being kind of, not to say a plain Jane, but just, you know, an ordinary person who's getting into a position that they just have to kick ass. You know, yeah. I, did you have, what, what kind of inspiration did you have in this character, maybe even personally or, you know, seeing some movies throughout the days that you're like... I love this one. She she did. I mean, another, another inspiration was Man on Fire with Denzel Washington. It's oh also, man! Yes, because it's also a revenge film, right? So we sure. didn't want to, um, you know, a lot of revenge movies today that happen within the first five minutes. Mm. And it's like you don't care about the characters, you don't know the characters, you're not on their journey, so why do you care? Yeah. So part of this, and 
when you see the film, you'll see that, you know, the revenge happens halfway through and it's very unexpected. Mm. So you get to love our characters and understand them. And ultimately she is a bit of an anti hero You've got to, hopefully, we build half the film, hopefully that you're going to root for her and care for her. And it's, mm. it's warranted, you know, when she, when she does these things, you're like, you're rooting for her. Sure. <laughs> uh, okay. you know, that, that was very important for, for the, the revenge to be meaningful. And, you know, were there any aspects that you felt like, you know, because I, I, I hear, you know, action, and I hear, hear kind of revenge, but, you know, with, with you and, and Neil, you know, working together and, and, and your work, you know, in horror and so to speak, did you feel like there was any sort of, you know, moments where it was like, this could kind of lean into kind of that type of a territory, a, a scary situation. I see some moments of you covered in blood, it looks like. I, I'm not sure where that's coming from. But. It's definitely got the Neil Marshall stamp to it. Lots yeah. of blood, lots of blood. <laughs> and it almost like any scene in, this, in, in these kind of movies, like there's a lot of horrific scenes and lots of violence. And I guess that's kind of maybe where the line sure. could be It could be a horror film. I, th I almost think it's it's it's, it's a number of it. it's it's an action it's gangster, but it's got layers to it as well. It's about betrayal and love and friendship and power and all these things. Mm. So, but I, you could arguably say I wouldn't say a horror film, but it's definitely got some horrific moments in there. Horrific that I think the yeah. horror community would would appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with, with some of, and you kind of touched on this a little bit, but, you know, what were kind of takeaways for you as far as working with some of the cast that, you know, was attached to something like this? And I, I think with anybody, whether you're decades into a career of acting or, you know, you're just starting out, I feel like there's things that you can take from, you know, pieces like this where you have a, a, a cast that has been around and has been absolutely kicking ass in this type of a genre. I would say, I mean, I, I, learned, I learned something from, from each cast member and I always do on all of the projects I do really I think we learn off each other mm. something um mm. Philip was just brought this incredible energy on set and made me believe and trust my instincts a bit more um which was great you know we had some very heavy scenes together and he was he he helped me through that and um taught me you know to learn to trust myself and my instincts Working with someone like you know legendary Stephanie Beecham was just incredible, and, right. and telling me stories when she was working with Brando and just yeah, just classic legendary stories. That was amazing. And then wow. working with the great Cole Meany as well, um, who's you know known for this kind of genre as well, Gangs of London, Layer Cake. So I was so excited and dead nervous to be working with him. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> you don't have to talk, talk to an actor to learn. Just by playing off each other, you learn, you think, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, and, and I think it's just, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it's always interesting to hear, um, mm -hmm. you know, people's personal perspectives of, you know, but uh, I think it's, you know, a, a lot of times with people, when you're earlier on, you know, you kind of touch on the things of, oh, what did you learn? But it being interesting and you being as busy as you have been throughout the, the years of even us being able to talk and having the opportunity and hear, like, it just seems like you constantly have shit going on. I'm like, jeez. <laughs> When do you stop? Always. <laughs> I always try. Well, then after this film, me and Neil did another film together, which is more of a horror film called Compulsion that's out next year. That's, that's. Oh, that's really? A, yeah. That, that, that's more of an erotic thriller. Oh, wow. um, definitely got that Italian giallo vibe inspiration. Oh. Uh, serial killer. Oh, man. Yeah. That's so different. Damn. So different to Duchess. Damn. Yeah. So, um, very very excited about that one and then um yeah i just did two films back to back which i'm very excited about as well one another horror film with the classic lynn shay barbara oh. crampton oh, okay Weiss, and just jesse metcalf just an incredible cast um it was actually my first horror set that i was on that wasn't my my own horror film which is really nice it's very fun to be on another horror oh set. really <laughs> yeah oh that wow was no kidding uh, but what what would it what one is that now? I'm sorry if I'm cutting you off. Oh, yes. It's called The Possession of Gladstone Manor. Oh, shit. Okay. I did hear about that. Okay. Is that, like, is that wrapped as far as, right. as, as filming and production? That's, or? that's finished. That's in the edit at the moment. So that should be coming out later this year, probably next year. And Damn. then after that, I just, just did a yeah, action film with Dolph Lundgren and Michael J. White. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I think, I think Duchess helped me prepare for that because, you know, up against those iconic 
action <laughs> legend. <laughs> okay, bye. I, I, <laughs> and that's what I say. I mean, as far as, you know, like there's been little things that you've been posting up about something to do with a James Bond type connection and then Michael J. White and having, you know, this and this, you know, type of thing. And I, I'm not trying to spoil anything. I just, things yeah. I've been seeing online too. So yeah. <laughs> by, anyway, by no means, but um, it, but it's just, awesome. I mean, there's, there's so much. Yes. Thank you. No, the main thing for me right now about living and breathing Duchess, like now is here, it comes out. Ninth, so 9th of August here in the mm -hmm. state, um, digital on demand, and then it's going into cinemas um, internationally. So I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, It'll be good. To, uh, and then we're premiere, we're going, we're, we're doing a premiere next week, um, next Tuesday, um, which I'm super excited about because it'd be nice to watch it with an audience, to feel their mm -hmm. reaction, see what it's like. So I'm excited to watch it with an audience. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that yet. Where, where, where is that at? I was going to ask where the uh, premiere was. LA? Oh. You're not, you're not. Okay. In uh, Michigan. No. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> I, I would, I would love to. There, there's been a couple opportunities that have come up and I'm like, uh, boy, if I, if I would have just gotten a flight over there. <laughs> well, not too far. Maybe one day we'll have, we'll have a premiere Pretty where similar. you are. That, oh. But it opens up, yeah. it opens up uh, on the 9th anyway, so you can see it. In fact, on iTunes, that good stuff. Oh, okay. It, so it's is it st uh, streaming the same the same day, or is it theaters for a, a extended time? Um, no, it's so it's just streaming here and theaters internationally. Oh, okay, man. Yeah, yeah I can't yeah. wait. London and UK and Russia and all these incredible countries around the world. So that's man. Be, yeah, I can't wait. Now, with, with with Duchess, I think this is something maybe important for everybody to, everybody to know. Did any punches slip? Was there any moment where you're like, ah, look, that wasn't supposed to happen? I always no, wonder that about, about action no. movies. I mean, there's always I've always I've had a few hiccups along the way, not on Duchess, thank God. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, no, I don't think we didn't have you know. I was gonna say touch wood, but it's over now. We didn't have, <laughs> we didn't have any accidents. It was all good, um, and I didn't get. Uh, no, not on Duchess. Man. We're good. It's Beautiful. working with pros, yes. though. You know, when you're working with, you know, incredible stunties, you know what they're doing. They're just, they're just so good. They just, they make you look right. So, they're the best. Right. Surrounding yourself by a great team, I think you're going to come up with a great product and a, and a great response no, I'm, too. I'm excited. Thank you so much. I mean, the trailer's getting a great response right now. So I'm hoping yeah. if people, you know, we get that momentum like the trailer as much as the trailer. Then, yeah. yeah. I feel very blessed. I'm very, I'm very proud of this film. So I'm excited. Super for excited. Yeah, very, very, very excited. And like I say, I really appreciate the time today. Uh, I have this posted up, up on uh, YouTube. Anybody who came in a little bit late and really excited. I can't wait. August 9th, you said it's going to be August streaming. 9th. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. August 9th. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Charlotte. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I'm sure at some point or another, we're, we're, we might have to do this again and talk all these other projects you have going. Absolutely. I love it. Let's do it. All right. All right. Take care. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you so much for telling us about Duchess. Of course. Right. Bye. Bye-bye. He's a lo-fi horror guy. Yeah, he's kind of a guy, but he is so lo-fi, lo-fi horror guy. Yeah, baby, baby. Lo-fi horror guy has been recorded in front of a live studio audience.